There's so many different variations of old time music. Of course, the, the fiddles, you know, came over with, with the people from, from Ireland and England and those type places. The guitars, I think, came along a little bit later than that. Uh, and, you know, they developed from that. The, the banjos, uh, best of my knowledge, came originally from Africa. Uh, you know, they look like a drum. They probably start out as a drum, uh, and they put the strings on it. I think when it really started getting popular as far as, as, as putting the instruments together was during the Civil War and during that time. You know, you, you see the pictures, and it's always the fight and the drum, but Reality, if you look back at a lot of pictures, you'll see sitting out front tents playing fiddles and banjos. Gone. For string instrument people, we're, we're pretty religious to our music. We're pretty selected to our music and we don't vary too far from that type of music. So it's hard to find common people to play with. That is the basic uh, reason for the old time fiddlers, is to preserve and per perpetuate old time fiddle music. This organization is non-competitive, it's very friendly, uh, it's supportive of everybody. Uh, it doesn't matter what level you are, uh, what your talents are, if you have any talents. Uh, that's what it's all about. It, it's about the music and it's about friendship and, and supporting people. With the Fiddler organization, everything's voluntary and there's nobody paid anything, nobody solicited to play. Well, I've done everything from uh, washing dishes in the uh, kitchen after a potluck or planning meals and, and things for the Fiddlers and also uh, uh, I've been the editor of their uh, paper, The Hoedown, Lowdown, for I can't even remember when I started doing that. It seems like forever. Some of the best players probably in California are actually there every other week playing music outside. Uh, normally they don't play inside much, but they're there and playing. Back in, in the patio, uh, is our, our biggest spread of, of people. Usually it's the most traditional, uh, as in bluegrass and, and old fiddle music. When I first became a member, I was pretty shy. I, so I didn't do any singing at the time, and I, and I would hear some of these great fiddlers they had up here, and I'd kind of get in the background, and play behind him so I wouldn't interrupt anything and I was really kind of shy and some of the people here said oh come on up here and play and they got me up on stage and they kind of supported me and got me started and uh, you know, created a monster now they can't get me off stage. Of course there's Jess uh, Willis uh, I consider him my mentor in, in, uh, in old time music and bluegrass music and uh, I'll go out of my way anytime to play with him. He, he has been so supportive of all of us, not just myself, but all of us. Well, I mean, I really appreciate that. I, you know, I, I try to help everybody comes up back. You know, if they need any help, back up in like that. But I thought it was just the most loving bunch of people I ever ran into because everybody seemed to help each other. You know, it's just like a big family up there. <laughs> Our founding fathers and the people that really keep that organization going are people that are in their 60s and 70s. I guess my concern is, is that, that we'll have a contest and we'll have 57 participants, 53 of them being young, 
and they've had that contest for 16 years now. I think this is our 16th annual. What has happened to all of those 16 times 40 or whatever it is, you're talking a lot of kids that are not there and they're not bringing their kids. You can't force this on anybody. It has to, uh, it has to be your own choice, your own interest. Well, there's a lot of people that, that, that really don't understand what we're all about, but as long as they show up and show an interest, why, that'll all come around. Uh, there's there's no, no worry there. We're going to make it fine. It gets started in church or, or family. A lot of the families get together on, you know, Saturday evening or something like that. And we didn't have TVs. Uh, we had radio. You listen to the Grand Ole Opry and you, and you learn to play music. And that's, that's how you get started at it. I have been going to uh, movies and every time there was a Western music, uh, Western movie on uh, with uh, Roy Rogers or Gene Autry or somebody playing a guitar and, uh, and I just thought that was great. My dad played all kind of instruments. It, it, music was his life. I mean, he just, he just ran the store to feed the children. <laughs>